hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here you are welcome my name is beauty guys please if today is your first time coming across my video please don't forget to hit the subscribe button like and also share and don't forget to turn your notification bell so that anytime i upload a video you will be the first to know so guys today i'm going to be making my yam and beans porridge so i just decided to take you guys along over here i have my beans which i'm going to be using i have the black high beans why here is my yam so this yam i peel it and you know put it in my store it in my deep freezer so i still have one left which i'm going to be adding to it why here is my red palm oil i have here my crayfish and two nut cubes which i'm going to be using why here is my tomatoes so i don't have the fresh one so i decided to use this one along with onions four little onions and two scored bonnet pepper why here is my salt and black pepper over here is my fish so i don't have the real dry fish so i dry this one myself so i'm going to deboil it and add it to it guys The reason why I left this yam ever since is that because all the yams I just peel them and put them in the deep freezer. It's because I wanted to use this one to fry uh, yam. I wanted to fry it to do what we call indudu in Africa. So I just decided to add it because the yam is almost gone. Everything is gone. So I just decided to peel it, then add it to to my yam porridge. So this is my fish. I'm just going to depot it, remove the bone out of it. When my water is already on the fire, so I'm going to add my yam straight to it. My beans is almost done. So I prepared it half done. So I'm going to be To the pot, so I'm going to be adding salt, salt, and my black pepper to it, then cover it. So guys, my yam is almost half done, so I'm going to go ahead and add my beans. This is the three cups of beans I told you guys earlier. So, I washed it then. I first of all soak it for one hour before, you know, adding it to the pot, then just cook it half done. So I'm going to leave it to come to a simmer at least 10 minutes before adding any other thing to it. Guys, at this junction, I'm going to be, you know, adding my pepper and the tomatoes to it. Just going to give it a stir. Yeah, 
then add one long cube of my mangi to it. going to give it a stir because at this moment you need to be very careful so that it will not get burned so now I'm going to add my the boiled fish to it and I'm still going to add my teaspoon of the fish to it Two teaspoon. Then just give it a nice stir. Then I'm going to test it to see if, if I'm going to be adding the last magging cube or not. Very spicy guys this is what i need for this weather because the weather here is very cold so we need something spicy so i'm going to add it has the last no cue to it remember guys i've already added one before so this is the last one So I'm going to leave it for a, for a few minutes, maybe about three to five minutes before adding my oil to it. At this time, guys, you need to turn down your gas. Eh? Your gas needs to go to low. If not, it's going to get burned like no man business. Remember, we are in cold weather, yes. So, my oil is very, you know, the weather here is very cold. So, I'm still going to add. delicious eh? in the next five minutes it will be okay so guys my yam and beef porridge is ready it's ready it's done it's ready so i'm going to dish it now so me and my family can eat Thank you all for coming to view. May God bless you all. So guys, this is the finishing part. Very delicious. Thank you all for coming to view. Please guys, today is your first time coming across my video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also on your bell. So you get notification anytime I upload a video. Bye and see you in my next video.